Your station, your voice. BBC Radio Merseyside. Now, it's always worrying as a, a parent or a grandparent that the kids may be getting involved with the wrong crowd and taking down the wrong avenue, if you like. Sadly, gang culture is something that does exist in parts of Liverpool. It often goes hand in hand with crime as well. My next guest is looking to steer young lads particularly away from trouble by just getting them involved with going out on your bike, cycling instead. Blaine Roberts is the founder of uh, Liver Peddler Pool. Have I got that right? Yeah, hi, Tony. It's uh, good to meet you. Good to meet you too. Uh, what, what is it? What is Liver Peddler Pool? So, my reason for starting it was there's a lot of knife crime, not only in Liverpool, but all, all around the UK and all around the world. And a lot of families are getting affected. You're always seeing about it in the papers. It's, it's affected me personally. Mm. It's affected my families, my friends' families. So it, it's, it's something that's surrounded, surrounded me. So for, you know about this first time. Yeah, you? so so my past, I come from a problem past, like um, I, I was involved in a gang culture, and what helped me get away from that and get away from the depression, the anxiety, was cycling. It helped me through a lot. How old were you when you got involved in this? So uh, it was, uh, throughout school, it's been years, and then um, I, I started to really change my life around last year. I used to be a DJ in London, mm. so I was involved in, in like the nightlife scene and the club scene and stuff like that. And um, so we set it up to give lads the opportunity to change their lifestyle, get yeah. away from the gang culture and uh, make new friends through something positive. How old are you now? I'm 21. So you're 21, so yeah, you know, yeah. you're, you're a young lad. Yeah. When did the penny drop with you? When did you think, I, I, can't, I can't live this lifestyle anymore? So um, it, it was just, it was just. I was near enough at rock bottom to be honest with you, Tony. I was near enough at rock bottom, and uh, that's that's what made me just say, look, I need to change my life. I need to sort the problems out with my family and make this change. So what I've done is in May, I, I, I decided I'm going to get lads together outside the lava building, and we're going to unite, and we're going to say knives down, bikes up, and we're going to get together and make a, st- a statement, and we're going to make changes because it's down to us as the youth in this community to make the changes. The police can't arrest the way out of this problem, and. Uh, um, like I say, it's down to us as the communities to make the change. Just, you can't say put the knives down without giving the youth mm. the opportunities, the experiences, and most of all, giving them that lifestyle change. When you when you said, listen, I've got an idea, you know, knives down, bikes up, as yeah. you said. When you said this to, to to your mates and the people you wanted involved in this, what, what did they say? So we started off with eight people. The first time I said, look, we're getting out, eight people. Before we know it, 50, next thing, 100. And then before, you know, with over 200 people out riding on, on the most scenic cycle routes in Liverpool, going 20 miles at least, up to 40 miles on some of the bigger ones. How many times did you hear your mates say, flipping heck, I didn't even know this existed? I'm still hearing it to this day. People wanting to get involved and and um, it, cause, of the, cause of the success and, and it's blown up so big. We've now set up our own race licensed mountain bike team. We've, um, we've got a support team of first aiders, right. cycle mechanics, drivers, um, which is Signal Travel, which is, is um, helping us a lot. Um, I'm, I'm travelling all over the UK with up to 40 people each trip, getting the youth actually out of Liverpool, giving them the experiences, getting them making new mates through something positive, and um, yeah, we're making this change together. I got a text last night from my nephew, and he said, uh, Uncle yeah. Tony, are yeah. you talking to Blaine on the programme <laughs> tomorrow? I said, yeah, why? He said, I go on the bike rides, it's brilliant. Yeah, he's a good lad. Little he's Max. Good, yeah, he's yeah. a good lad. He comes out with us a lot, and he loves it. He, he'll tell you himself, he loves it, and, and he, I'm sure he's made some mates that he's going to be mates with for life yeah. and it, it, they're made mates through something positive it's it's not like they've made mates through drugs or the gang culture because it's easier to get roped into a gang than it is to get roped into a football team or like we've set up which is more appealing to these kids a yeah. mountain bike team do you know what I mean and it's a family it's a community here in Liverpool and that's what we're doing we're making the change ourselves we're the youth like like I'm only 21 and, and it's down to us as the youth to make this change and you you started off by meeting at the the liver builder. You only yep. had a few now. How 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 many have you got now? How strong are you now? We, we were nearly at um, nine thousand followers on Instagram. Um, yeah. we, we, we've got a YouTube channel. We've got our own website, which is being donated by One Velo. They donated their services to us, um, and and it's it's really blown up. So this is a 
this is a proper thing you've set up. It's not just like, oh, we're all just going to meet and we'll see it's where we're going to go. It's a grassroots movement. Go. That's yeah. what it is. It's a grassroots movement. It's come from the streets. I've had no financial support from day one. Still to this day, I'm getting no financial support. I'm doing this for the love and the peace because we've got to make the change. I've been affected personally. Everyone who comes out with us near enough has been affected personally or reads about it what, every day. What kind of changes have you seen with, what your, kind of, with, uh, with your friends who go on these bike rides? Hundreds of, hundreds of people have changed their lives. After school, they're not hanging around on the streets. Uh, using drugs, getting up to the no good, um, hanging around with the no crowd. They're going out and riding their bikes with people they've made mates from, uh, with from these rides. And, and they, that's that's the big, big change. And it's something that's never happened here in Liverpool. Well, we're almost out of time, uh, Blaine. Yeah, yeah. Um, can anyone just turn up? Anyone. You can you can follow us on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. And all you've got to do is liver space peddler, P-E-D-L-A space pool. And we've got our own website as well. How do you feel about it? You must be proud of yourself. I'm passionate. You can tell in my voice I'm passionate about this. I, I'm here to make a change and it's only getting bigger. Next yeah. year is our year, 2019. Look out for us. If, uh, just finally, if you hadn't set this up, Live a Peddler Pool, if you hadn't set this up, where would you be now in, in, in at this stage in your life? Where would you be? I couldn't tell you because this is my life now. I, I can't imagine my life without this. This is my life. This is what I want my life to be. If I haven't got this, I haven't got a life. Do you know what I'm saying? This is, this is what I'm here to do. This is my purpose in life, and it's the purpose for so many more people All in right. Liverpool. All right, don't take any cheek off my nephew when you're saying. No, right. he's a good he, lad. He's, he's a good he's lad. Yeah, he's not he's cheeky. He, he can be, oh, he can be cheeky. Oh, I can imagine, He can be yeah. a little bit cheeky. <laughs> Just tell him Uncle Tony. Yeah, I okay, will do. Okay, keep yeah. his eye on him. Uh, good to meet you, Blaine, <laughs> and it sounds, like meet a, you. it sounds like a great yeah, idea. Thanks a lot for having me as well. Oh, no, you're very welcome, mate. We'll get you in this time next year, you know, so you yeah, uh, see how it's going. Yeah, good stuff. Yeah. Take care. At uh, 7.31, let's bring you up to date now with the latest BBC News headlines. With the details, here's Julia Bold. Good morning. Seven out of ten fires which broke out across Merseyside in the space